welcome to Grumpy Old Men as we look back to the very good old days of AFL football. Tonight, we have got a superstar from the Carlton Football Club. He had eight coaches during his career, played in three premiership sides and also won the best and fairest in a premiership year. He was an absolute gun player, plus a man over 200 games with the Kangaroos, also was one of their captains. He was a no-frills defender. That's all coming up on Grumpy Old Men. But our very first guest, Bob, you would have loved How down at Geelong. How many coaches did he have? Eight coaches, Bobby. <laughs> did he get rid of them? Or what he may have, because the great man Jimmy Buckley joins us from the Carlton Football Club. Welcome to Grumpy Old Men. Thanks, Kevin. You didn't get rid of any of those coaches, Jim, did you? No, 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 they got rid of me at the end. <laughs> Parkin got me back at the end. Yeah. <laughs> but, Jimmy, you were going to be a jockey. Yeah, I would have been... Uh, would you have been track. a heavyweight? I would have been over the jumps, I think, Bob, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you were a racing man before you got into the... When I say a racing man, you were interested, and, and there was a chance that you could have become a jockey. Oh, I don't think there was ever a chance I was going to be a jockey, but uh, I liked the horses and yeah. like riding the horse and I used to ride a bit of track work up in Kyneton yeah. with the old mate of mine Pat Clossy and uh, and that's where we did a, a thing when I first came down to Carlton I did an interview off down the stables and that and I remember they uh, said it was early morning the fog at Kyneton and you know it was mid-afternoon it was a f and it was the uh, smoke from the tip. <laughs> <laughs> well tell us about life in Kyneton as a young uh, boy. Uh, Kevin it, it's a it's a uh, cold place Kyneton as we all know and mm. uh, you know I had a Wonderful upbringing, you know, wonderful parents and uh, great sporting uh, facilities town up, up there. Facilities yeah. were great, you know, yeah. and I, I just loved everything with sport, mm. you know, running and uh, uh, whatever came, you know, cricket and cricket, tennis, tennis, and tennis the whole lot, yeah. And uh, fortunate enough, I, when I was still at school at 16, I was invited down to Carlton, which in those days were the zones when we, the Benigo uh, League. League, was the Carlton yeah. zone, and uh, I actually bowed for Richmond, Kev. Oh. I, and you were my idol. Oh. And about well, five years later, I couldn't wait to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you whacked me one day at Prince's you. Park. <laughs> Talk about off the ball. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I, can, I, I heard of Jimmy Buckley, I was sitting at home, and uh, it, was, it was during the season, and they had those night games during the season. The you know, a, lot of us did, a lot of us did like playing in those night oh, games. Yeah. It was like on a Tuesday night, and it was generally freezing cold. And Carlton were across, I think, in South Australia, playing against one of the South Australian sides because they actually were in the competition there at one stage and they said this young kid Jimmy Buckley was playing his first game and I sat down and he kicked five or six goals. Yeah, I, Ian Thorogood was the coach, the first coach I had down there and uh, they gave me the opportunity in, in the night game. I think it was West Torrens we played over there and uh, I started on the bench and it, got a, it was raining a bit and a bit bleak and uh, they had to drag someone off and they'd <laughs> fortune I kicked uh, five yeah. goals after half time and on the plane on the way home Ian Thorogood said that uh, you'll be getting your first game next week, and that was against Footscray at Footscray. Yeah, Footscray. Yeah. You remember it, Jimmy? You remember I remember it all right. I remember it all right. Was it I... wet out there, windy? As it was normal? windy, and yeah. I was on the Hawk wing out there, yeah. Oh. But uh, the first bloke I matched up on was Terry Wheeler. Oh. 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 Yeah, it, uh, that was an experience. At 16 years of age, <laughs> yeah. 16 then. Yeah, 16. Yeah. I'd have a safety pin on me shorts, though. <laughs> <laughs> when you, that, after that day, did you go back to the reserves much, or ever go back? I played the next week. Uh, we got beaten at, at Footscray out there. Yeah. It wouldn't matter what side you had, you know, it wouldn't matter where we were on the ladder and what, how good the side we had, we always struggled out at uh, yeah, Footscray. Yeah, the Western Oval. You know, yeah, the Western Oval there. And uh, the second game was an eye opener for me, which really led, you know, showed me what I needed to do in football. We played Collingwood at Collingwood. It was a pack, out, it was a lockout, mm -hmm. an absolute lockout. There was 35,000 or whatever they got in there, sure. And, yeah, not and there's another 35 waiting to get in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I've never seen a more harder or ferocious game in my life, that game. And i never forget, that's the day that Tuddy broke his arm, hitting Mark McClure across the head. Yeah. And the only place you can don't hurt McClure is hitting the head. <laughs> you call him box head. Yeah. And I'll never forget Tuddy's arm was swinging down the... the uh, swinging off and it was broken right across and he was still chasing McClure. Oh, he's mad, isn't he? And a few of the blokes wanted to come off, but I didn't really want to go on either. <laughs> <laughs> it was a real tough game, but yeah, oh, you've got no idea, Hawk. This is yeah. the toughest game we've ever seen. And you know? a lovely little spot, though, just on, just around from the wing, right in front of that social club. You just yeah. love to do something oh, stupid yeah. there, didn't oh, you? I had some wonderful memories out there. <laughs> <laughs> One day I was warming up out there, and they, uh, and, and uh, out at Collingwood, and the, the coach's box used to be over on the uh, other wing. That's right. Yeah. And it was packed; you couldn't move. And the bloke said, uh, "Parkin was a coach. I'll never forget this." And he said. Warm up, he said, you're on the 10 minute mark. And I had to run up around in front of the uh, yeah. the illustrious uh, Collingwood Cheer Squad and the members stand. And I, I 
10 minute mark, he said, warm up, warm up. So I warmed up, I was warmed up the 25 mi minute mark, I was knackered. <laughs> Plus I'd been had about 18 apples thrown at me. <laughs> I wouldn't believe what happened, they cut the cord. <laughs> To the uh, the telephone. The telephone. Oh, no. <laughs> you live for 25 minutes. <laughs> it was horrifying. It was. <laughs> well, playing at 16 uh, years of age. I know Robert Walls played at 16 years of age. But are you the youngest ever Carlton player? Yeah, yeah. I played about 16, about 200 days or something like that. Yeah. So it's a, it's a record that'll last forever. Yeah, it can't be broken, Kev. That one. Mm. Yeah. Well, when you look back at 16 years of age playing AFL football and eight coaches. You must have... I mean, <laughs> it was a, a successful time for the Carlton Football Club on the field, but there was a lot of turmoil off the field. Yeah, we, we had... Um, Ian, Ian didn't last that long. Then uh, Ian Stewart came and he sort of... Uh, we lost the first six games and uh, he had a bit of a heart attack or scare or something like that. Yeah. And uh, he, he left then. I think Serge came in for a couple of games and uh, took over there. Then there was... Uh, I think was it Jezza? Jezza came Jezza. in. Yeah. Jezza came in in '79, and you know he was the hardest coach I've ever had. There's no doubt about that. In, in you know training, He's, people say that that he was he was just a fanatic at training. Oh, it was just hard stuff. You know, very yeah. very one on one, and that's the hardest. It doesn't matter what you do. No. One on one's the hardest Can't contest you can do, isn't it? Yeah, we've all been through that. Yeah. We all dread that when the coaches come on pair up. Or <laughs> no, <not again. laughs> and uh, you know we won in '79. That was a it was we beat Shorey's yeah. in 79 and that was a great thrill you know dad was alive in those days and uh it uh it was a great winning thing you know great thing for carlton we needed that win we probably should have won four in a row when you look back on it Kev, but mm. you just won in 80 and the turmoil broke out in the club when jezza and uh george uh decided they wanted to do different things and the club didn't want that allow that and then percy Jumped in, wasn't then it? Then Percy came in as coach, yeah, well, he came in for a coach, and he still reckoned we laid down on him in 1980. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you had a real good small brigade, didn't you? Oh. I mean, Cullen had a, a small brigade which was as good as any you want anyway. to get any time. Yeah, we're lucky, Hawk, because we, we, we had a great mix. We had the older players, right, like the Chesilencos, the Jules, the Southies, the Keos, the Armstrongs. The you, the your list goes on. Target. And also you had the mix of uh, right the Harms coming through. Lua. The Sheldons, the McConvilles, the, the uh, Marcus a bit later. Marcus, yeah. you know, beautiful players like that. Ashley was a superstar. Ashley was a superstar. Ashley was a superstar. Yeah, underrated yeah, yeah, yeah. player, Ashley. So was Trevor Keogh, mate. You know, those yeah. type of blokes. And the mix was the right mix to uh, go on with that. Vinny. Vinny Gattaggio, yeah, he's a superstar. Vinny. <laughs> he's an underrated player, too. Peter McConville, no matter that. Sidestep back. You love to kick a goal, mate. You, you did it all everywhere, but you love to kick a goal. Yeah, I, look, I, I was a bad kick for my size. You know, and, um, you've got to be able to kick both feet. You know, mm. and, well, as a rover, to be a very good rover. Of course you do. You get, you get caught in a number of positions, don't you? That's right. That's right. The, the times that Carlton played Richmond, they were great games, weren't they? And Carlton played Collingwood. You mentioned about out of Victoria Park, but there was, there was a real tribal influence.